going on everybody welcome back to the channel um, just wanted to jump on here and uh, update you guys I got a I got a couple of shout outs to do and uh, I want to show you the little bit of progress I made on the uh, Camaro um, I tell you it's just one thing after another not with the model not with model building but I don't I, I can't remember if I mentioned it before but uh, I've got this really bad tooth and uh, sometimes it acts up on me. I've been putting it off, waiting for the uh, for the title to come from my car, which is in the mail. So once I transfer that over, sell that car, I'm going to get my bottom dental work done that I've been needing for a long time. Tops are done, good to go, but yeah, the bottom, man, when it acts up, I can't see straight, so never mind trying to build. But um, let me uh, get you guys in here and uh, We'll show you what, what I got for you. All right. So first up, got a shop card in the mail from James Morris over there at uh, Morris Customs. What is he? What's it called again? The uh, Morris Custom Model Shop. Um, pretty cool guy. Nice guy. I, uh, I've uh, been subscribed to him for a little bit now. Um, I like him so much I sent him two uh, shop cards. <laughs> I just I realized I was watching his video when he got mine, and I didn't realize that I had, I had sent him to. But, uh, yeah, it's because I like him so much. So, if anybody hasn't checked out James over there, um, I'll put the link in the description and go check out his channel. He's a pretty cool guy. I like him. Um, and then, when I got home from work today, this box was at the door. I didn't order anything, but it's addressed to me. Who's it from? Huh. Frank. I just sent Frank an email because, man, I was, I was kind of messing with him and not really messing with him. I seen the model kit that I, I think I showed it to you. I seen the model kit behind him in one of his videos that I've always wanted to build. And when I was building back in the day, it was the Superbird and then the, also the NASCAR inspired um, Daytona 500. I remember the Daytona 500 being out in the store. Don't know why I never picked one up. But I've never seen a Superbird, or or a uh, or even a uh, Daytona for that matter. So I was messing with Frank. I'm like, hey Frank, what's it gonna take to get that Superbird off of you? He's and he's like, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. He mailed it to me, dude. I can't take this for free. I, you know, like I said, I was half joking in the in the comment. I said, you know, what what's it gonna take? You know, like trade, money, you know. I, I feel so bad, Tick. You know, he just mailed it to me. I had no idea it was coming. So, uh, Frank, yeah, check your email. And uh, let me know, buddy. Man, this is so nice. Yeah. Can you imagine that these cars sat on the dealership floor and they couldn't give them away when they were new? Holy cow, now they're million dollar cars. So I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. Appreciate you, Frank. Let me know in my email. I feel bad taking this off your hands. So, alrighty. Man, you guys, this whole community is awesome. Alright, um, as far as the uh, Camaro is concerned, uh, the body is still broken. <laughs> I don't see the... It looks like I might have... Let me switch my glasses. The thing on the back quarter panel that everybody's talking about, it looks like I had the start of it on the inside of the... Uh, fender well but on the outside mine looks perfect to me I don't see any at around nothing all the molding is there so that's a plus um, 
So that's that. What else? I did go ahead and do some uh, brush painting on the uh, on the steering linkage. Um, I did get the uh, frame sprayed in uh, flat, and then I went ahead and I painted the uh, the front and rear subframe gloss, painted the uh, fuel tank, and painted the exhaust. I did like on the on the mufflers, collectors, whatever these are. Um, I did the uh, pipes in steel, but I added a, a drop of black to get a different uh, tone there. So I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, what else? The engine, I've got one header on it. I had to touch up over here because I actually put the other header in the wrong spot. So... I put the headers on because I wanted to make sure that I drilled the holes for the uh, spark plug wires in the proper place. So that's going to be my next step once I'm feeling better. Um, got my seats painted. <coughs> what else? You know what? I think, I think that's going to be it. So, yeah. So that's it for that. So uh, yeah, just keep this a quick show. And you know what? I was concerned about not being able to mix my paints and measure them properly in these cups for now while I got them. So I remembered my for my aquarium, I've got these test tubes to, that I would test the water with the different chemicals. And it's actually marked five milliliters. So I'm thinking that I could take five milliliters of paint and then put five milliliters of thinner if I'm going to do half and half and then mix them together or put the, put the thinner in there. I got the lids. I can sh sh put the lid on and shake it up real good so I get all the paint out of there. So I'm going to try that out next thing I paint, see how that works for me. Uh, because I haven't tested my water in probably two years or so. Because once you get the aquarium set up where the, uh, the beneficial bacteria takes, takes hold and everything, it basically runs itself. Where when it was brand new, I was testing that water every day. Checking for ammonia and nitrates and everything else. So anyway, all right. Well, I appreciate everybody. Um, have a good evening and, uh, hopefully I'll be back soon, uh, getting some building done. So everybody take care.